RC enthusiasts, it's your host Tom Cogswell from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC here for another NX video tutorial. In this video we're going to be talking about how to add a third party module to your NX transmitters. The NX transmitters have a special port on the back that is what we deem or call a serial port. It's kind of an accessory port and it allows you to plug it into different third party modules such as the TBS Crossfire that I have here on the table. What you'll need to do this is this cable that we sell. That's actually been previously used for the iX12 and the iX20, but it also works for the NX6, the NX8, and the NX10. So personally, I just like to Velcro my Crossfire module onto the back of my radio. I use this dual lock Velcro, snap it on, and I plug in these two ports. Now one thing I want to mention about the NX6 and the NX8 in particular is that they do not power out through this port. So since you do not get power out through this port, you have to power the TBS Crossfire independently. This is not the case for the NX10, so keep that in mind. But with the NX6, this works great with a little three cell battery that you can just Velcro onto the bottom back of your transmitter and then plug it in. And it'll power up. But now it's not getting any RC signal from the radio, obviously because it's not turned on, but there's also a menu that we'll go into on how to set this up. All right, so the menu that I am mentioning or what I'm talking about is the serial port setup menu. This is in the system setup menu. So you just click the scroll wheel and you go all the way down to system setup. Click yes. And you'll see serial port setup. Click there and you'll have protocol at the top. When you select one of these protocols, it will inhibit the Spectrum RF. So that turns off your Spectrum antenna, essentially. And then what we want to do is choose a Crossfire protocol. I would say just use cr Crossfire V2. If you're using a ghost module from immersion, you might use SRXL2. And over time, we may even add more protocols as we see fit. So we're going to go to Crossfire V2, and go back, we'll go back to the main screen. And you'll notice that the, my middle bars here are no longer lighting up. That's because that indicates RF from Spectrum going out. Now, if we flip our module over and look at the module, or look at the module rather, we will see that RC input says CRSF V2 or Crossfire V2. Let's bind it up with this receiver. Binding is pretty simple with the Crossfire devices. You just hold this button down Go to the Xfire transmitter menu and hit bind. All right, we've bound up to our receiver. Sometimes with Crossfire receivers, you do need to kind of rebind every once in a while to get it to authenticate properly. It just kind of depends. So if it doesn't work, try and try again. Nope. There we go. I think it bound this time. Great. All right. So you'll see here now that it says it's running. The link status is running and that we are running at 10 milliwatt. All right, let's go ahead and plug a servo into our Crossfire receiver just to confirm that everything's working. We'll plug it into channel three for the elevator. And there we are. One thing I do want to mention is that if your Crossfire receiver is receiving telemetry from your device, let's say it's a Betaflight flight controller, it will pass through that information through to your NX6. So voltage, current, uh, things like that will be available on your NX6. So that's helpful if you like to be able to have that stuff on your heads up display. And that's how you set up a third party module like the TBS Crossfire with your NX6, NX8, and NX10. Again, I want to mention that the NX10 out of the three is the only one where you don't need an external battery to power the module. With the NX8 and the NX6, you will need those external batteries. 
This is Tom signing off for this video. If you guys have any other questions or comments or suggestions for more NX video series how to's and tutorials, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Thanks again and happy flying.